Howdy howdy again guys, uh, just thought I'd put a quick video together uh, for a person I've been talking to in um, Colorado and just wanted to show them the selection of rocks that I'll be posting over to them very soon so him and all his uh, college mates or university mates can uh, can check out the different types of minerals and inclusions in all the different quartz along with a few other bits and pieces obviously like sapphires and whatnot. But so far this is what I've put together for you mate. Um, so I'll go through them, um, so you can sort of have a look, as you can see there's all the different types of in, included quartz crystals that I've sort of, you know, I thought I'd chuck in just for you to have a look at, that's obviously chlorites, um, we've got some more green chlorite in this one here, if it'll focus, as you can see it's sort of a frosty chlorite with a bit of yellow chlorite, now I will send you some really specky ones um, as well, but we'll see how all these go first. Um, there's some really nice yellows and greens underneath the surface of that with a sort of a frosty layer covering it. Probably not. So, as I said, these will all be in the parcel that I'll be uh, sending through. So, there you go, a nice hematite one with some um, what I thought was broken, but it's actually a deterioration of some description. But it's actually, uh, uh, you'll know. <laughs> There you go. Uh, what else have we got here? So I've got a nice little smoky here. So I know you like your smoky, so that's one from uh, the northeast of Tasmania, up in the Gladstone area. As you can see, nice sort of clear one there. Uh, there's a few other sort of different ones. There's a nice hematite cluster. That one's pretty heavy, actually. I don't know how that one will go with the weight. But as you can see, that's pretty nice. So you might want to chuck that on your shelf. But, um, that comes from the... Queenstown area of Tasmania on the west coast. Um, then we've got some of these ones from Mount Hemskirk, just a couple of little specimens. You can see they've sort of got these really dirty sort of phantoms. You might be able to um, clean up the surface crystals to make those um, internal hematite ones show up a bit better. But uh, yeah, but anyway, I thought I'd chuck that one in. There's a, uh, another sort of, uh, that's from a place near Braxholm in Tasmania. Just another smoky. Uh, chlorites, as you can see, not too bad, but you know, it's more the colour I think I'm sending it to you for, so you can have a look. Uh, got this one here, a nice big chunk. Lots of chlorite in that. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, I just thought I'd send you a nice couple of little floaters that came out of the pockets that I sort of dug, so. A really nice one that one like I like the way that sort of forms like that at the end oh, yeah. that was a big chunk that one's got some really dark formations in it you might find there's some other minerals inside that as well so it'd be cool to see what the tests on your little machines and everything over at the uni would be uh, revealing about some of these as you can see the color in that one's really you know come on focus there you go look at that Anyway, so these other ones, uh, it's not going over, uh, these other ones here is just a bit of, I thought you might like this, it's just a bit of a nice bit of agate from down Loon River in the southeast of Tasmania. Sort of a bit of a mixture of materials there from, I don't know, like a forest floor type material. But, uh, we have some Loon River petrified fern, which is very, very rare. So you might be able to have a snoop at a book written by Ross Jones in relation to this material to find out what species they all are when they get there. Uh, where are we? Here's a few more here. Here's a nice piece. Hang on. I'll... So I'm licking these, you know, as we do to try to polish the surface up so you can see. But yeah, so it's all petrified fern. You got a nice bit of uh, petrified wood round there. So that's pretty cool. Bit of an odd shape to that one. But yeah. and then also there's the off cuts. I thought I'd send you these as well just so you can have a bit of a look at them. And, See if anybody's in z into the zolotomy, I think it's called, where you identify tree species and whatnot. But um, they were cut from rounds that a friend of mine had um, located. So, oh, we've got some more here. So, there's this one, another nice, beautiful round. So, it's a bit broken on the edge area, we've cut it off. But, oops, so, and then of course, some nice big hematite chunks. You might want to have a bit of a squeeze at. So, we've got lots of different colours of red in there. And, Sort of black, dirty stuff, but as you can see the surface, it almost looks like it wouldn't be reflective, but then you go, and beautiful, look at that. <laughs> so 
So yeah, it's quite. I was like quite fascinated with all these pieces that have all the different colours and minerals and different conditions in them. Like you know, that's sort of even bent if you look down it. Like you know, so yeah. So what else is there? A little smoky cluster there. It's from um, a place in the northeast of Tassie. Uh, what else? So there you go. There's a nice, interesting one. You might want to have a bit of a squeeze at. Bit of a mixture of uh, different types of hematite. And of course, just quickly, there's some of the sapphires. So I tried to find some nice clear ones, but I realise I think I may have actually got rid of a couple of cutters at a gem show. So swapped them or something. But that's nice and clear. I can't really. I don't know. So you can sort of see. Hang on, that's crappy. But there you go. So you can see that. That's about probably, I don't know, maybe I don't know, close to two carats, I think. So they're not really that big. I don't have too many really huge ones that I'm willing to sort of part with. But this one is another nice clear one. This is a better way I can sort of oh, show the light. Where are we? Yeah, you can see that anyway. Where are we? There we go. That's nice and clear. But anyway, so I'll send these ones to you as well. It's got a bit of a bit of a fault through it actually, like a crack through it, but anyway, I'll send these to you as well, and a few topaz, little ball topaz, and no doubt you'll probably find out that some of these, when you put them through the tests, will turn out to be jelly bean quartz or something like that, but um, yeah, overall, yeah, this is obviously this bit as well, this is um, stitchitite and aragonite with some serpentine, oh sorry, serpentine with aragonite, uh, with a bit of stitchitite in the corner there. Um, these are little sort of splintered up aragonite fans. Um, yeah, that's from Nevada Creek in Tasmania, in the west coast. You can see the beautiful purple. So yeah, I'll chuck that one in as well. And this is some more stuff that sort of was a bit more weathered, so it sort of lost its colour. Uh, there we go as well. Gee, this video is getting longer and longer. <laughs> uh, where are we here? So that's just another bit of petrified fern. Here's another just a Loon River Druzy crystal cluster. I don't know when you check those to find out what minerals are in them out of curiosity, but uh, if you do, that'd be curious. I'd be interested to find out what sort of minerals occur in this sort of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, that's from Loon River, Tasmania, so you can look that up as well. I think I've got a few videos on my YouTube channel, or on this channel. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I could get you heaps of those as well if you want any more of those. But, um, so yeah, that's about that's about it for the moment. Plus, as I said, I've got um, about roughly 20 pieces ranging in size from like um, what we have, well, you know, like a inch to about you know four or five inches of different types of crocites and everything. Um, as I said, nothing too spectacular. I sort of haven't got anything like that. I've mainly got all the uh, all the frosty looking pieces and everything like that. Still beautiful nonetheless. And I'm sure over there it's uh, even more rare than it is here. So. So yeah, but anyway, as you can see, that's the little selection I've put together so far. Um, I was looking in this box over here, and let's bring the attention over here. Now this is a box of all sort of smaller pieces that I found really remarkable when I found them. So as you can see, like mega water clear sort of, these come off clusters too, so I was pretty shattered when they, um, when they broke off and that, but just really, you know, interesting sort of clusters. Now, I mean, if there's any of these sort of ones in here, if you want me to go through these, I mean, these are like chocolate, sort of coloured ones which are really really bizarre so really nice hematite chocolate coloured hematite it glitters I've got a fair few of them little ones like these all come from a small little pocket that I got into once again on the west coast as you can see they're pretty awesome they've got little phantoms inside them and stuff then you move along to stuff like this which once again is from another pocket which is uh, filled with chlorite that actually had the good old uh, green and gold so Aussie colours and in case you didn't realise. But, um, yeah, so bits, heaps of bits like that. But then I've also I got into some odd, ooh, some odd purple stuff. That's like a floater. That's two crystals that have actually sort of come together. So I forgot I had all these. These were just like on a shelf over on the side of the shed. And I was like, oh crap, there's more. Um, so the more I go through, you might have to send quite a few parcels back and forward, buddy. But uh, but yeah, so I'm trying to go through these as quick as possible. But these are sort of really remarkable ones. They've got clear crystals and hematite coating. There's like multiple events that have taken place, but it's actually assisted the growth of the crystal, like halted one growth and started a new growth. So quite interesting. Um, there's some other cool ones. Oh, these ones are awesome. 
Check this out for Wicked Phantom. How cool is that? Probably one of my favourite little clusters, actually. Um, I had a, quite a few of these. I think I swapped uh, a few, uh, a friend of mine, Patrick. Well, prospecting friend of mine, Patrick. And um, he got a really nice piece of this. So, yeah. But, uh, I love these sort of ones with the sort of just clear crystal inside with just a frosting over the top of it. But, um, yeah, I've got fading ones as well. So, it's obviously these, these ones here that I've got the fading line running through them. Got a few of them. That's actually not a bad one, but it's once again got that dirty white stuff that you were saying that you could clean off. Yeah, so I don't know, if you want a couple of them. Um, what else is there? Oh, as you can see, heaps of hematite stuff, like little twins and stuff like that, and, ugh, and chunks. So that one's actually got nice clarity inside, but it's dirty on the outside with different types of hematite. Um, what else is here? Jeez, I don't know. Ooh. I must drop that. There you go, there's a nice one. Nice water clear crystal. So, yeah, no, if you're interested in any of these as well, dude, just let me know and I'll try to put as much in as I possibly can. I mean, even these little ones are pretty awesome if you're into your smaller sort of pieces. So, yeah, we've got really, really interesting inclusions in these ones. So, you can see the phantom inside. Um, yeah, so, pretty cool. So I love my crystals, they're definitely my favourite um, favorite thing to prospect and dig for, that's for sure. So Especially when you're finding all these little ones, I wish I could just make them double and triple the size. And <laughs> that'd be absolutely awesome. But there you go anyway, mate. So, I don't know. If you see any... Oh, yeah, there you go. Chlorite. Sorry, I was about to say if you see anything you like. Yeah, here we go. But um, the chlorite ones, so there you go. All the chlorite ones are... Some of them are only small, but they're really awesome colours in them. Check that out for a green. And as you can see, it's sort of got a thin layer of a clear crystal over like a green phantom inside, but that's a, like a little floater. But yeah, so as you can see, I found another little selection for you to have a look at. But uh, as I said, if you see anything you like out of these, just let me know and I'll, I don't know, we'll have to get onto a bloody voice chat or something like that or video chat and go through them all and work out what's what. But uh, anyway, mate, there you go. There you have it. Sorry for the long, extra long video. But um, so that's what I've got put together so far. And as I said, and there's a, a little flat of crokite pieces as well for you. Alrighty then, buddy. And I hope everybody else enjoyed uh, having a bit of a look at all these little awesome rocks that I'm going to send to um, some of our fellow rock enthusiasts and geologists and that in America. So for me, that's... Um, yeah, that's awesome. Love it. I'm loving the interest in all the uh, the Tasmanian uh, prospecting and geology. It's awesome. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I uh, hope this was helpful, Austin. But um, yeah, get back to me when you see this video, mate, and tell me what you thought. Think. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, guys, have fun. Happy digging. <laughs>